Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to show you if you want to learn cybersecurity the right way in 2024 and beyond, you're going to want to follow these precise steps that I'm going to outline in this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. First, you're going to want to build a strong IT foundation. Uh, you know, understanding the basics of IT is crucial, right? What does that include? That includes troubleshooting common IT issues, understanding computer components, proficiency in Windows and Linux operating systems, though they're among the, the, the most popular, basic command line experience, effective communication with non-technical audience through documentation and reports. Remember, you're going to have to have some people soft skills, right? Uh, and number two, you're going to want to you want to going to learn networking. Networking knowledge is essential for cybersecurity. The core topics include OSI reference model, TCP slash IP, networking topology, routing and routing and switching, network protocols and ports, domain name systems, also known as DNS, virtualization. That's the last one on that one. Number three, explore cybersecurity domains. Cybersecurity is a broad field with various domains such as application security, security architecture, auditing and compliance, cloud security, security operations, penetration testing, security engineering, right? You see, you see, you see those things that you're going to have to do. So keep that in mind and jot it down. Like jot it down, put your glasses on, jot it down. Okay. Uh, next hands on hands on, you know, practice hands on experience, right? Practice experience is vital. Engage in hands on labs and projects to apply your knowledge platforms like try hack me and hack the box. Uh, and let's defend offer practical labs and challenges so you can understand from a hacker or ethical hackers perspective. Number five certifications that goes without saying certifications can validate your skills and knowledge. Some recommended uh, certifications include the CompTIA security plus the certified information system security professional, the CISSP highly regarded the certified ethical hacker. That's the CEH also it's, it's, it's well valued, uh, the offensive security certified professional, the OSCP, and then now continuous learning. That's the certifications. Cybersecurity is an ever evolving field. Stay updated with the latest trends and tools and techniques by reading cybersecurity blogs and news, attending conferences and meetups. Now, what are the top online courses for learning cybersecurity in 2024? However, before I tell you these top tools, right? And there's going to be some paid, some free. Okay, so they're both, you can take advantage of the pay and free. Before we do that, please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Hit that subscribe button and the like button right now. We're gonna wait. Hit that subscribe button right now, come on. So, number one, the Google Cybersecurity Professional Security uh, Certificate. <laughs> the, the Google Cybersecurity Professional uh, Certificate. Now, what's amazing is this course, you know, it covers network security, Python programming, Linux cloud computing, and more. It's suitable for beginners and, be and it can be completed in three to six months if you're on a time crunch. Number two, the IBM Cybersecurity Analyst Professional uh, Certificate. This program, this program focuses on cryptography, network security, incident management, and other key cybersecurity skills. It's also designed for beginners and takes three to six months to complete like that. Number three, Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst Professional Certificate. Uh, this course covers cloud computing, network security, and operating systems. It's beginner friendly and typically takes three to six months. Number four, we talked about it. We're going to keep talking about it. Try Hack Me. And it offers practical labs and courses on various cybersecurity topics, including offensive and defensive security. It has different levels from complete beginners to advanced. That's that red team, blue team. That's another thing that you're going to want to get into. And then we have the Hack the Box that provides hands-on training in offensive security, allowing users to practice hacking skills in a safe environment. It offers both paid and free tiers. Then you have the Coursera's in, uh, introduction to cybersecurity fundamentals. That's a beginner level course that can be completed in one to four weeks. Next, you have the Fortinet network security specialization. That's an intermediate level program that takes three to six months to complete. 
You guys like that range, huh? You like that range. Then you have the University of Maryland's Cybersecurity for Everyone. That's a beginner level course covering cyber attacks, network security, and uh, security strategies. Number nine, IS, uh, um, ISC2 certified in cybersecurity specialization. So a beginner level program that takes three to six months and covers incident management, risk management, and network security. 10, Python for Cybersecurity Specialization by InfoSec. That's an intermediate py uh, uh, level program focusing on Python programming for cybersecurity applications. So what are some of the most valuable topics in cybersecurity? So number one, we have AI and machine learning are revolution revolutionizing cybersecurity defenses and threat detection capabilities. These technologies can analyze vast amounts of data to identify patterns and anomalies that may indicate cyber threats much faster than human analysts. Number two, as cyber attacks become more sophisticated, AI powered security tools are becoming essential for organizations to keep up with evolving threats. AI can help automate threat detection, incident response, and vulnerability management. However, AI also presents new security challenges, right? As it can potentially be manipulated or exploited by attackers. Research into securing AI systems and defending against AI powered attacks is very crucial. That's the next step, right? That's the next thing. So the intersection of AI and cybersecurity is rapidly growing field with high demand for skilled professionals. Expertise in this area is highly valued in the job market. AI and machine learning and cybersecurity encompass many other important subtopics like automated threat intelligence, predictive analytics for cyber risk, and AI assistant incident response. Guys, uh, AI is, is, is <laughs> it has a whole monkey wrench that is putting in, in the table right now. AI is causing a frenzy. And here's one of the things that's amazing about uh, cyber security and, um, before I get into AI, here's the amazing thing about cyber security that you have to, you have to know it's ever evolving, ever changing. There is not one year is not similar to the next year, right? So, uh, this is not an industry or a profession or w whatever you want to call it. That is, a you know, you can get complacent in because, uh, cyber security, 10 years ago is not cybersecurity now. It's not going to be cybersecurity 10 years from now. We, the cybersecurity landscape, in my opinion, in my perspective, in many cases, we haven't even gotten a grasp on AI and its capabilities. And it's, uh, when I say capabilities, I mean, from a cyber attack perspective and how hackers can use it. It's still a new kind of thing. We don't know how ChatGPT can, you know, it's full capabilities. We don't know all these kinds of things. So be prepared to constantly be in an environment that's ever changing, ever growing. Uh, you're going to always uh, want to maximize your skill set and don't, this is an industry that you want to constantly think outside the box because you're, you're, you're in many cases thinking like a hacker, uh, you know, so th these are some of the kinds of things that you're going to want to keep in mind. So that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Please hit that subscribe button and the like button right now. Let's wait. Come on, come on, it's free to do it. Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe and see you in the next video.